Hi, welcome to Easy Moto Tim. In this video, I'll show you how I installed an air horn on my Triumph Trophy. The stock horn on my Triumph Trophy is pretty anemic, so I decided to buy a louder horn. I had a gift card that was about to expire and used it to buy this Denali Sound Bomb air horn. The box says it's 120 decibel sound output. It's a split system. The air compressor and horn are separate pieces. There's a piece of tubing that connects the two. This is the stock horn on the Triumph Trophy. It's uh, pretty small and really anemic sounding. Fits on a bracket here on the uh, right side just behind the uh, front wheel. So this is what the stock horn sounds like. Here in the garage it sounds pretty good. But out on the road when the, all the plastic covers it um, and there's road noise, it doesn't grab very much attention. What I purchased was this uh, two-part air horn. There's uh, the piece on the left is the uh, air compressor which connects to the tubing which connects to this plastic uh, horn. It's a dual tone. Um, it came with the relay and the twist eyes um, but not the bracket. I uh, took that bracket out of my inventory off the shelf and uh, fitted it to the air horn to uh, find and found a place to uh, install it. It took a lot of time to figure out where to put this horn so that it would fit below the exhaust of the radiator, um, the exhaust air from the radiator, um, and not be too close to the exhaust pipes. So I decided that uh, finally, after a lot of work, it would fit in this position um, and that I could route the uh, the hose back along the motor to where I'm going to mount the air compressor. So uh, this is the location I decided would be good to mount the air compressor. I'll tie wrap it up using those holes and then the tubing will route alongside the motor and and up to the horn. Then I'll do the wire in a relay and get the power to it back here. So the relay that came with the horn didn't have a socket or wiring kit. They charge extra. So um, it's a standard automotive relay. I have on the shelf um, one of these uh, automotive relays 30, 40 amp with a socket and pigtails. They're left over from uh, an earlier project. I bought a package of five of them at Amazon, used a couple of them, and I've got a, a few more on the shelf. So that's what I'm going to use. Um, I labeled the uh, pin numbers on the socket to make it easier to uh, hook it up. I'm using the leads that went to the uh, stock horn to drive the coil of the relay. Um, these sockets were pretty uh, dirty so I cleaned them with some uh, contact cleaner, sprayed them out to clean them up. And then um, I'm running the wire with uh, these spade connectors that'll run up here to where I'm going to put the relay. Here's the wire from the horn circuit, the stock horn circuit. Blue wire goes up and I tied it in to the uh, leads in the relay for the relay coil. Here's the relay, fully wired. I added an inline fuse on the line to the horn and the uh, 
blue wires are that uh, go down to the stock horn leads are connected in. This tap off the uh, battery side goes to uh, feed the relay for my moto lights. Before hooking up the horn, I'm uh, testing the relay. I don't know if you can hear it click, but it's clicking. That means it's properly wired. The trophy has this nifty feature where the uh, side mirrors pull out. It's primarily to get access to the uh, wire that connects the um, turn signal, the back of the turn signal, and there are a couple of screws for taking off the skin. But it's also a convenient place to stuff a bunch of wires. Uh, a bunch of this wire nest is the uh, leads to the motor lights and then the new wiring I added. I'm mounting the compressor back here on the right side of the bike and behind this uh, piece of plastic and I uh, did a test fit to make sure it would all fit and it does. I'm putting a piece of uh, double-sided tape between the uh, compressor and the frame not to hold it but to um, actually to cushion it uh, and stand it off a little bit from the uh, that metal bracket. Here's the compressor mounted and wired. I ran the wire and the tubing along the right side. I'd like to find some sort of insulating material to stick between the tubing and the engine to protect it from the heat. I don't know what the temperature rating is on this tubing. And um, I found a screw that's uh, part of the frame and uh, has a suitable ground for the uh, ground side of the compressor. Okay, well, let's give it a test and see how it sounds. It's not working. Have to find out what's up. Alright, I found out what was wrong, why it didn't work. I connected to the wrong lead on the uh, relay for the, the line to the uh, compressor. So I just uh, pulled the pins out of the socket and moved the wire to the correct position. Alright, let's see uh, how this puppy sounds. That's pretty loud. I ran into a couple of issues when I uh, took all the skin off. The first was that the ground terminal of the battery was not difficult to uh, disconnect. The screw wasn't loose, but it certainly wasn't tight enough. The other issue I ran into is that this boss which uh, connects to a cross member behind the front wheel was broken off. Apparently somebody uh, removed all the screws except that one and then pulled the cover off and, and broke that. So I first glued it with the um, model airplane cement and then um, with the JB Quick, JB Weld to uh, build it up and give a, a little more um, strength to it since the, the plastic is, is uh, split. So I'm hoping that'll hold well enough to uh, keep it from rattling and stay in place. That's it for this video. While I have the skin off, I'm going to change the oil and filter. It's time for that. And uh, look over the screws, make sure everything's tight. Catch you later.